Mer Mercy's Tales of Trouble. Let's install and activate. Oh, please. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is what I was hoping for. Um. Okay. What is this? A new and different emotional approach to RKG girl from an experienced opera. What? <laughs> She's the one who gave the voice for the original Mercy. Uh. Okay. I figured there's going to be some weird options to, uh, <laughs> to do the installation of this. I want an opera singer. Why would I turn down the opera singer? Yeah, I got it. Okay, thanks. Okay, body textures? What the fuck is... Th Why is that cat naked? Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> Why? Why? Why is that? Why? <laughs> Should we get as weird with it as we possibly? Ah! 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 Uh, you know, just low resolution. I don't care. Uh, oh, underwear. Yes, please, underwear. I don't. I don't. Uh, don't do the furry thing. It's gross and weird, but that's what we're going with. Ah! Gross, weird. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, everything's strange. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. God, this is gonna be one of those weird ones, isn't it? It is. It's gonna be one of those weird ones. We can start the video now, I think. Okay. Hey, hi. Hey, you. How you doing? Hey, see these cat folk? Get used to that, cause that's what we're doing. New mod. It's called. What? I can't even read the Mar Marissi? Whatever. Some cat girl mod. Okay, listen. I know this may be a little outside the norm for old Grimboos, but I've found in my experience that doing things outside the norm tends to make good YouTube content. So, let's get freaking weird with it, is what I'm trying to say. What are Thelmore shitlords doing in my. Wait, are you Thelmore? Oh, I thought you were a Nord. Hello. You. Sahara. Oh, apparently you can follow me. Hi, what's you there? Hi. You are interfering in the matters of Aldmeri Dominion. Leave immediately. The fuck are you Thalmor shitlords doing in my Skyrim? Get out of here! The crimes are none of your concern. Walk away now, and I'll ignore your breach of conduct. But if you remain. That's a dragon. Oh. Uh, hey. That's a dragon. <laughs> hey. Oh, look. They just decided to attack me. Okay, that's good. What's biting me? What's biting my butt? What is biting me? There's a goddamn saber cat here. What the fuck? Okay, these guys are actually killing me. Okay, all right. I thought we were just gonna jump into the weirdness with this mob, but no, we're actually jumping right into the combat. All right, starting strong. I'm liking it so far. Okay, I shall employ the help of demon friend. And what the fuck? I thought we extincted all the damn saber cats from my sky. This is unprecedented. And actually, it's very precedented. Okay, and the dragon. You're. I swear to the nine divines, this is the ancient dragon that killed me in the live stream. And tell you what, things are not going to be good, my friend. Last time we fought, I was in my jammies. But this time, I am fully prepared. Hold on, this one's gonna annoy me if I don't kill him. So, yeah, let's deal with that. But, what the hell? Did you just? Oh, you done, you done pulled a, a teleportation move like every bad guy in every cartoon ever made. Okay, I see the inspiration for this mod. Okay, you ancient dragon, you killed me in the live stream, and I've been seeking vengeance ever since. I remember you. I remember your goddamn stupid dragon face. How dare you make me look bad in front of the internet? Goddamn piece of shit, motherfucker. If you didn't see the live shows and dragon like one shot, so, because I had the gall to fight him while wearing pajamas. Frog pajamas, to be specific. If you wanna see him? Too bad. I'll put him on after we fight the dragon, so I don't get one shot. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I has no. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. When, when you don't block stuff and you're wearing jammies, that will one shot you. Okay, I killed people. Did the mod start? <laughs> Alright. 
Usually I gotta ease into these things, but uh, no, no, we're just going straight to the bone on this one. Okay, cool. Uh, there was some cat. Oh, hello, cat. What's up? Sahara? Like the desert? Whatever. Hey, you alright? Please, this one's life is nothing. She begs you to go to Riverwood and save the young one. Uh, what? Oh my god, we have dialogue options. Hush now, and let me tend your wounds. No sense in it. I don't care. Can we just kill her? <laughs> Be silent as I tend to your wounds. If you swear your allegiance to me, I'll look into your young one. This one's freedom is more than worth the price of saving the young one. This one pledges her life to you. If you go to Riverwood and save her. Oh, uh, yeah, alright. Cool. Bitchin'. I got a slave. Please, save the young one. Okay, neat. So, do you, like, do anything other than sit there and bleed out? Oh. You're just gonna leave. Whatever. I didn't want your slavery anyway. <laughs> okay! Let's go to Riverwood and save the young one or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. But, uh, frog jammies. I forgot to show those off in case you haven't seen them yet. Here we go. Yeah, this is what I was wearing. <laughs> I got one shot by drinking that one time. Let's forget about that and uh, continue wherever the hell we're doing today. Okay. Hey, Fiend Al! What are you looking at? You stupid goddamn wood elf. That's what I'm looking at. Has no one cleaned up these corpses yet? Gee. Freaking slackers. Okay. Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh, hold on. I saved the old cadget from Thalmers. She kept asking to help save young. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. Dog. Shut up, Embry. Oh, God. Riverwood. It never changes. Am I right? Embry's always yelling at the dog. The kids are always gawking over dead bodies, poking them with sticks and such. The only thing that changes is Delphine, who takes off. Hello. Albert, is that a typo or is that your actual name? I want to say your name's Albert. I'm gonna sit next to you, bro. Hmm? I'm sorry, but I'm terribly busy at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, what are you busy doing? Sitting here, drinking mead, getting stinking drunk. Now nah, listen, um, drop whatever you're doing right now. I have things to say at your face. Why the hostility, friend? Because it's about you, my specialty you, you're a butt bag. I'm sold out until sometime next week. Okay. Damn your ass! There's a gadget girl around here somewhere, and I intend to to make. Uh, I intend to make mine. We're enslaving her. Why? Why is there so much slavery in this mod so far? Are you going to enslave her? I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know where to find her. Oh. Okay. Well. See ya. Oh gods! Don't hurt me. She's oh. behind the inn. She comes at dusk. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> all right, I guess this is the this is the um enslaved cat girls mod. Neat, awesome. Hey, what's up, Raylove? <laughs> Damn faithless Imperials. Fucking a. This guy gets me. This guy totally gets me. Okay, fortunately for us, my friends, it is almost dusk as we speak. What time is dusk? Out of my way, stranger. How do you not know how we- I am- ah. Shouldn't leave things around to trip over. I hate this guy. Okay, behind the inn, right. So, round here? Look behind the inn. Okay, cool. I'm looking like as hard as I possibly- Oh! Oh, hello! Well, Have this wasn't here before. like it? No, never. How does she look? So what human. What the butts is this? Doesn't even smell like a Khajiit. Usually you can tell. Why are you guys Damn throwing gadgets? I'd like to have her as my pet. Gross. I say we get a little payback for Lars and Lori. Get your head on straight. If we don't take her back, we don't get paid. I'm not saying we won't take her back. I'm just saying I'd like to enjoy her first. Gross. That's Why? not a bad idea. I want in. But we can't leave any marks, so we'll have to be really gentle. <laughs> right. You guys have fun getting, like, fleas and junk or whatever you get from, whatever kind of weird disease you get from cats. And just hey, man. who the hell are you? Back off. This one's mine. Um, 
Where's the just like, oh, just, oh, just passing by, stranger. Don't mind me. Where's that dialogue option? Uh, no, okay. Um, no, she's mine. You just don't know it yet. One of you is gonna take two of us? You're not the bright sort, are ya? What? Oh, you, you even can count to two. Didn't think, sir, by the look of you. I don't know why we're going all Swedish with this. Nobody insults me like that. Get him. Now is the time that I kill you and claim the cat, girl. <laughs> As my, why do you not get stunned? Why? <laughs> Mercenary, get out of here. Where's the other one? I'm going to kill him because I don't know. He didn't accept my wicked sick burn of uh, that one counting to two comment I made. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. Don't even question it. Um, hold on. I'm going to finish you somehow. That's cool. I don't. Um, wait. Where's my. This is dumb. I'm going to puke on you. Here you go. Puking. 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 Fuck you. God damn it. How can I not do my puking powers? Puke powers activate! Puke powers activate! Ah, oh, there's the puke! Why? Puke powers? Ah. If only I had some sort of pet or something that is known for puking up hairballs all the time, they could teach me the power to puke on command. If only, only there was such a thing. Gee, I sure hope this mod, you know, provides me with whatever I'm asking for. Hi, hello, strange girl. Oh, you are gross. <laughs> you are gross! Ow! You didn't ask for your help. Leave her alone. Who the hell are you talking about? Okay, well, see ya. Good mod. I guess it's over. Why'd they kill the dog? Oh, return to the traitor. Okay. Alright. I can do that. The one in the sleeping giant giant in? Okay. Right. Gotcha. Hey, guy, there were some jerks out there. Did you they find her? They were going to do weird things to some cat girl's butt. It was gross. And the girl? Uh, I don't know. She took off. If you do, at least she won't be running in the wild anymore. Now, I'm very busy. Please, leave me be. Right. You say that. I'm not convinced. I have to find... I am not feeling all that compelled to find this. You there. I'm oh, hi. I'm unusual Khajiit. Have you seen her? Oh, there's some gross chat cat girl, like, wandering the woods or something. I don't know. You, you can go get her if you want. Don't get smart with me. You would not be able to mistake this one. Now be a good dog and tell me everything you know. All right, all right, all right. I was I was gonna tolerate this Thalmor bullshittery just so you could get rid of this gross cat girl infestation we got going on up in Skyrim right now. But then you called me a dog when I'm clearly a lizard. What the heck is wrong with you? <sighs> I've had enough of this. Make an example of this one. I'm going back to headquarters. Yeah, you have fun with that. Never Here comes the part where I summon demon friend. And Please, destroy all your faces. Something. Mind the chicken, too. The they will explode. They're crazy. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, really, there's one right behind you, isn't there? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. Let's not get attacked from behind. That's not cool. Oh, no. I was mistaken. Demon friend, don't worry. I'll save you. Okay. You rotten Thelmor bastards. All I want is with you guys to get rid of these gross cat girls from Skyrim. And you couldn't even do that. You had to step to the king of lizards like a bunch of dummies. You know how many Thalmor I kill for no reason at all? Like thousands. There we go. Okay. More dead elves. Today is a good day. All right. The quest text is telling me I have to talk to that gross cat girl again. Oh, God. She saw Hello. what you did. You didn't turn her in. Why? Turn who in? What are you talking about? So you only helped her because the elves are mean? What about the bandits, then? What about the bandits? She is not so helpless. She has claws and a dagger. She killed one of them and their dog. What? You killed a dog? What's wrong with you? Exactly. If she hadn't cut down their numbers and tired them out, they would have overwhelmed even you. 
Do you have pants on or is that fur? I can't tell. That's gross. Her story. She... She doesn't know. Not even her name. Why can she not remember anything? I'm guessing amnesia. What does she know? There was a kind elder that helped her. But with what? After that, she was running. Briars, bushes, dogs. Loud dogs barking after her. She hates dogs. Er, she means she was terribly angry at them. They made her mad, but she had to run because... Because it was raining, and she hates being wet. She's not scared of anything terrible. Who are you talking about? She found some shelter, an old tower, and spent maybe a week there, hiding from the rain. Don't laugh at her. When the rain had stopped, she left from there and ran until she ended up here in this town. What? I kind of stopped paying attention. She remembers a satchel. She left it in the tower because she was in a hurry. Maybe that can tell her who she is. You can take her there, and she will keep you safe from the mean old doggies around there. Okay. Lead the way. Oh my god, it's gonna be one of those mods, isn't it? It's gonna be one of those mods. Total recall. Find the set. Okay, okay, before you guys get all pissed about me asking who she's talking about. Yes, I know she's a Khajiit. And Khajiits talk in like weird, I don't know, they speak strangely. Like in, is it second person? I, th I think it's second person? I don't know. Where they refer to themselves as she and he, whatever. We should probably talk to this one, huh? Wait, what the hell is this place? Oh, some hunter place. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Hey, you! Yeah, uh, oh, okay. I can give you a home? I don't know why I do such a thing. Okay. He stays close. That's cool. Oh god, I can try out all my cat jokes on you. Okay. Let me think of some while we walk. Okay. Um <laughs> Okay, you wanna hear a really gross story? Since we're talking about cats. It's really gross. It's um so so Operation magic. Brr. A perverted thrash. Why are you bad mouth and alteration? Don't choke the life out of you. Freaking yeah, this is alteration right here. Strange girl. <laughs> okay, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Gussy Cat, Willy Cat's buddy. He has this thing where I like to sit on the windowsill after he poops, and then sometimes there's these strange little brown spots on the windowsill where Gussy Boy was sitting. That's What's that's Ruda! Oh, were you cool? I don't think you were cool. You have the word bandit in front of you, so I'm assuming you weren't cool. Burn the vampire? What? Who's a vampire? My vampire? Hold on. Did I get vampirism? Did Alva give me vampirism again? She has done that in the past. It, been, it is so irritating when she does that. Prepared to die? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Settings. Is this on? This is on legendary. Bandits are just very, very squishy. Huh? Someone hit me. Wait. Oh, there is a vampire down there. I heard somebody talk about the night and stuff. I think. Oh yeah, there's still the vampire. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't have vampirism. It's those darn vampires down there. They're the ones with the vampirism. Okay. Hey, cat girl, do you do anything worthwhile? Other than complain about dogs and being wet. Okay, yeah, I don't think so. I'm gonna kill this one now. Uh, 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 he is going to kill this one now. Is that a proper gadget talk? Yeah, that's how they talk, right? Okay, cool. I'm learning things. Um, oi! Who's left? Who is skulking about back here? You're a dot on my map, which means I have to kill you, so no hard feelings. It's a darn death hound. Ah. Hey, look, a dog. Hey, 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 cat girl. Where's that cat girl? I found a dog for you to play with. You need to conquer your fears of dogs, specifically death hounds, the freakiest of all dogs. Get over here. I'm going to throw it at you. Why is this dog hurting me? Oh, I have no idea. Hey, where'd you go? I'm trying to throw a dog at you. You're the worst. 
worst follower ever. There you are. Did you actually run away from that dog? Okay. Lead on. I'm going. I'm leading as we speak right now. Let's go find your stupid, I think, satchel for whatever reason. I can't even remember why. Maybe that's where she keeps her catnip, and that's how she like. I don't. I don't. I don't fucking know. <laughs> She just wants her narcotics. That's what she wants. Hey, look, a thing. I'll run just through it. Note from Satchel and an unusual ring. Let us read the note from the Satchel. Post haste. Here we are. Dear Marissy, I am afraid that this is the only chance to send you a message. I packed the Satchel in a great hurry. Too bad I couldn't gather everything we've talked of. Here is the money, everything I was able to get run. Never trust anyone of our keen. Totally trust the lizards. They are super cool and rad and pretty much the coolest of all the beast folk. Unless, unlike our own cat kind, which are gross and leave poop spots on windowsills. Ha 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 ha, bye now. Yeah, okay, I got it. What are you doing? Well, Stop doing things. what did the note say? Don't keep her waiting and hurry. Your name you is... Your man your name is Fluffy. <sighs> what? No Fluffy way is her name that. Give her the note, you Fluffy trickster. What? What the fuck you just call me? You did not just call me Fluffy. She knew it. Her name is Marissi, not some Fluffy. <sighs> Never roll your R's again. That sounded aggressive, and it really just set off my medulla oblongata, my, like, my kill reflex, basically. So I take it you don't want to see the ring? What ring? Sure. She... This ring belongs to her. She remembers there is something important about it. But she doesn't know what. Okay. <sighs> yes. She cannot remember anything about herself or her life before she ran. Why are you running? Oh, maybe a jeweler will tell us more. Yes, a jeweler. Such a one could definitely tell Marisi about her ring. Hurry, you we must find that. one. This seriously makes me want to kill you whenever you roll your R's at me like that. You're a bit feather-brained, aren't you? Brenda is not full of feathers. Neither is she fluffy. <sighs> She'll get back at you one day for calling her names. You threatening me? Seriously. You need to stop doing that. That's setting off my kill reflexes. And I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to kill you. Okay, we need to return to Albert. Or Albert. I haven't decided if it's a typo or yet not. Hey, I just had a Stay thought. Safe, I hope. No, I'm clearly not. Have you seen the thing that's following me? <laughs> clearly not staying safe right now. And Jesus, guards! This place is getting really corpsey. We need to, I don't know, call the sanitation department or something. Okay, anyway, I know your name's... Marissi, but that R is triggering me a little bit with your rolling of it. It makes me want to kill you. So instead, we're going to call you Mittens. That's a proper cat name. All right. Oh, hey there. Hey. I saw that Khajiit girl leave with you. How's she doing? I don't know. I'm fighting the urge to kill her right now. What's up? How would I do that? Skilled merchant I may be, but certainly not a restorer of memories. Oh, okay. Well, you know anything about this ring? May I see it? My, that is unusual. Okay, I think I may know someone who can help you. However, you'll need to leave the ring in my care for a few days while I go to find him. The company he keeps is less than reputable. You understand? This sounds like a good way to steal the ring from me, but whatever, I don't care. Normally, I wouldn't do that. But given the circumstances... Alright. His name is Salthazar, and he belongs to the Thieves Guild in Riften. Look for him in the ragged flagon. Okay, bye. Always. Take care. Litter nerd. Oi, mittens! Oi! Yeah, what? Open your backpack! Nod. Okay, she has nothing in her backpack. Open your satchel! Stop thrusting your nose into her belongings. Okay, you don't have no belongings. Okay, that's Need done. Them? Okay, no dialogue options for mittens. Now, we shall go to the Thieves Guild and speak to a man named Thal... Thal... Whatever. Some guy. 
Oh, hey, since we're here in the Thieves Guild, I have never checked this uh, Guildmaster chest before. I know it's part of the normal game. Yeah, I have never checked that before. <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said in last mod, um, usually when I get done with all the Thieves Guild stuff, I'm so sick of going back to the Thieves Guild that, well, I never do it again. So that's how I never knew about that uh, Guildmaster chest, man. If you've ever done all the guilds quest or thieves guild quest missions and junk, you Sorry, probably I, know what I'm I've talking got important about. Important things to I'm do. Saying. Oh, oh here we go, brother lizard. Okay, is this visit. is a bit more my speed. Yes, up, egg bro. Nothing, man. I'm looking own, to get rid of a cat. Do you know any good animal shelters around here? Then you have found him. How can I be of service? Animal shelters or, well, um, good dumpsters. A ring, you say? Or a I ring, I guess. I haven't found a trinket yet that I couldn't appraise. Cool. Then I'm curious. Why did you seek me out? What is it that you wish to learn? I want to learn the best way to dispose of an unwanted cat. You should know that my knowledge of magic is rudimentary. I can tell if there is an enchantment, but if you want specifics, you'll have to seek out a mage. Let me okay. see the ring. Curious little trinket. I have the information. I need to know. What's going on between Okay, what, so what's up, man? Not so fast. I have done you a service, and you must pay me for it. Would you like to adopt a cat? Your companion. She is quite beautiful, yes? Gross. I would not mind to spend some time with her. Gross. I'll make you a deal. Okay. I'll give you the information you seek in return for one night alone with her. <laughs> if that's what it takes, here you go. All right, no need Wait, for why love. am I defending her? Where's you the option to say, here you go, time. lizard, have fun. Good Try not to get any gross diseases. Gold, <laughs> I will reveal all to you. This is gross. Oh, okay, yeah, and whatever. It's a deal. I happen to have these papers here that explain the ring in some detail. Read through them, and I'm sure you'll find what you need. Okay, nice. I found jeweler's papers. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. I can already see where this mod is going. This mod really wants you to be attracted to gross cat girls. <laughs> and, uh, well, sorry, mod. It's not happening. Speak with a lizard again? What the fuck is this racism? Jesus! Okay, what? What the f- uh, Okay, I'm gonna read it, but I'm not happy about it. This is this is a part of the jeweler's writings describing the chronicle he read. It's very hard to read because of the distinctive Argonian style. Here is an adapted part of the text. All the main clues you could get from the notes. This is a clan ring that once belonged to the chieftain of the Marisha clan, Revere. When the Thalmor brought back the moons, many of the Kajit were quick to take the Thalmor's side and give up their own pride, bowing their heads before the new masters. But not all. One of the Kajit clans didn't bend the knee. Revere, their chieftain, considered the situation too beneficial for the Thalmor and suspected the clans had been deceived. The chieftain decided not to take the new master's side. The Thalmor declared this a full-scale riot. In order to prevent such an attitude from spreading amongst the other clans, troops were committed. Revere managed to smash the forward, the units which had been sent to put down the rebels. But soon the major reinforcements came. Nevertheless, Marusha clan's land was well fortified and suitable for defense. So the Kajit managed to withstand the siege. But then a sudden split shattered all their dreams of freedom. Rasadir, Revere's younger brother, refused to obey his elders' commands and took sides with the Thalmor, taking part of the clan with him. There was blood. There was a bloody assault, and although many of the long-eared ones' lives were taken by brave Kajit, the, the defenders had been sabotaged by the brothers' betray betrayal. Revere and a handful of his companions were taken alive. The Thalmor ordered Rasadir to take his brother's life himself to prove his allegiance. Rasadir did so willingly. 
The clan ring eventually became a symbol of the riot. The gem in the ring was special, a rare stone called a beacon. And when the moons were not seen in the sky, it illuminated the future of the clan. Alas, one day, it suddenly disappeared. Dot, dot, dot. That's a so to be continued. 